May 27, 2022 Daily Devotion. John chapter 13, verse 34 to 35. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also are to love one another. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. Learning to listen and empathize. I've been serving God for a decade now. As I've listened to the stories of children, youth, and adults, I can say that it taught me to listen more to understand. I'm learning to love the people I'm ministering to that even I wanted to be heard. As humans, we can't deny that there are times we judge immediately. People around us are like an iceberg. We can only see its tip, and we see not the whole thing. In showing love to others, one of the ways to express it is to listen. Jesus, as a perfect example, took a human form. He humbled himself to be born as a human being and lived a human life of human suffering and limitations to demonstrate his love for you and me. The Bible Project says listening or hearing is Shema in Hebrew. It was a common word in the Hebrew Bible. The word Shema is more than listening or hearing. In Hebrew, it can also mean paying attention to or focusing on, and it can also mean responding to what you hear. We can say that hearing and listening were interchangeably used in the Bible. Jesus, when he was here on earth, exemplified how to listen with empathy. 
He did this to the tax collectors he ate with. He listened to the woman in the well. He listened to Nicodemus and the rich young ruler. Jesus didn't listen only, but he responded to the needs of these people and it's through offering them eternal life. Now there are three methods of effective listening. First, validating. In validation, the listener does not have to agree with the speaker, but the listener wants to confirm that the speaker's feelings are real and make sense in the context of what they felt and perceived. Second, exploring. The goal of exploring is to set aside the need to respond, defend, or correct the other person. This is especially challenging when you are annoyed, attacked, afraid, or angry. It tests your ability to remain non-defensive. Thirdly, incarnational or reflective listening. The listener lays aside questions, agendas, and defenses and simply seeks to understand the other person's experience. The purpose is to listen at the heart level with empathy, attuned to another person's words and nonverbal cues. Reflection Jesus said we are to love one another as He loved us. By this, people around us will know that we are His followers if we learn to love one another. One of the ways to show it is to listen with empathy. If we try to be in other's shoes, then God will grant us the enlightenment and wisdom on how to help the people around us. Do you listen with empathy? Prayer, Lord Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on me. I am aware of how often I treat people without even listening to their stories. Instead of looking at them with the eyes and heart of Christ, I have unhealthy ways of relating that are deeply embedded in me. Please change me. Make me a vessel to spread mature, steady, reliable love so that people with whom I come in contact sense your tenderness and kindness. Help me to listen with empathy and love. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen.